The second experience is the experience of the flow of time. We experience very strongly the present is an important moment. The present I'm talking to you now is an extremely important moment, and later there will be another important moment, but it's not there now. So there is a kind of a flow of becoming that physics cannot account for. Physics can talk about things moving only with respect to time. Namely, I can say that if I see a motion, what do I mean by saying this? That at one time I see the one, the one place for a particle, and another time I say another place, then I say that particle is moving. But can I say that time itself is moving? That would be tautology. What does it mean that time is moving? Of course, time is changing, time is changing. But I could, for example, hold time still, and I wouldn't find any, exp any different experience. If you say, for example, a, a person, you send it with a rocket that most very close to the velocity of light. We can't do it in practice, but in principle, then when we look at this person, we'll see that this time has not moved at all. And nothing inside this rocket will move at all. Everything will be frozen still if it's grow very close to the velocity of light. But the person that sits inside the rocket doesn't, doesn't see any difference because the flow of time is only a relative thing from the point of view of physics, not an absolute thing. Physics can only say that when time, one time, one thing is sailing, another thing is sailing. But to say how fast time itself is moving doesn't have a meaning. So therefore, people believe that, that really time is like another direction of space, and they speak about the block universe, and every time is just as good as another time. There is no preferred present. In fact, when Einstein learned about the death of his good friend, Be Be Eh? Besso. He sent a letter, condolences a letter to his widow, saying that, look, you should, not, you should not feel very sorry about it because your husband is still alive. All times are the same. They are all existing, and he's always existing, and we should always exist. The, the meaning of death is really only um, some psychological thing. It's not something very fundamental. So I don't believe it. I believe that there is really something that is true about time that we don't, that our physics today doesn't tend to explain to us, but it is there because we experience it so, so strongly. There might be some new physics in which the becoming or the motion of time will have a meaning which we don't have now.